Hey guys, Dustin Ellerman here, and today we have the Bowers Group Verse 458 Suppressor. Now this is one of the biggest and baddest that we've tested so far, and it's been a lot of fun, except, you know, ammo's limited. Uh, that stuff's expensive. But this this can will handle anything, of course, bore size like 460 and below, uh, as long as it's traveling under 2,650 feet per second. So it's going to cover your 458 SOCOM, your 450 Bushmaster, your 4570, and all down below low. Uh, in fact, they don't even uh, have a limit on barrel length. So, you know, you guys run in SBRs and we're always wondering, oh, what voids my warranty? Nothing on this one. Just you stay below those velocities and you're good to go. Um, the uh, the neat thing about this as well though is it is rated for full auto so you know you're never gonna mess it up you're never gonna overshoot it you're just good to go and so what we have it on today is a 458 SOCOM and so if you're not familiar with 458 SOCOM it's a pretty legit round and so you take a double stack 223 mag and then single stack some big old 458 rounds in there and you're good to go now uh, what we have to shoot because of course we're shooting a suppressor we want to shoot it with some quiet stuff and see what it'll do is we have Detroit ammo some 500 grain subsonics so those things are um, traveling down range you know a little over a thousand feet per second but with 500 grains of force so we'll load up we are at about 90 yards here because I didn't want to you know, ever get too close so you can hear what the bullet's doing and have the acoustics of the outside of the field. Uh, we're going to shoot at a pine tree first. <laughs> we got a, a tree that's in front of the berm that we don't really need it, but we can hear a nice powerful thump into it. So, uh, yeah, let's shut up and shoot. <laughs> it's nailing that with some authority. Now you did notice the first round pop. Uh, it's a large bore size and there's a lot of air in there to fill and so I guess you're getting a good bit of first round pop there but of course the subsequent shots are pretty quiet. Uh, we'll go for some steel and uh, see what we got. Oh it nails it. Yeah, that's pretty cool, sending a 500 round grain round down range. Uh, so I thought a great comparison for this would be the 300 Blackout. Uh, of course, the 300 Blackout and Subsonic, well, that's what a Blackout was made for, and that's a very popular round. And so we've got some 208 grains in this one. Um, we will, uh, we'll just shoot into the berm and see what we got, pick up the 458 and do it as well. So uh, we'll do two rounds, so we make sure we're not getting any first round pop. Can't count to two. All right, 458. Okay, it's just kind of a more airy uh, sound. I mean, of course, it's a little bit louder. Uh, I was shooting it over here earlier today, just testing zero, and one of the guys came from about 150 yards away, and he's like, what was that? Was that a nail gun? And that's about what it sounds like. It sounds like a big pellet rifle. You just get that airy, hollow, you know, uh, thunk out there. Um, we can load up some supers and see what we got. I'll tell you what, didn't plan on this, but we've got some subsonic that were not from strike force ammo yeah it's there you go it's supposed to be subsonic 500 grains they were traveling at uh, nearly 13,000 feet per second so we didn't use those but hey look let's shoot it and see what it does let's, see, let's just load up one here y'all it'll be obviously louder yeah but it's all loud down there and it's not loud here so anyway packing a good punch if you think you know you wanted to hunt with 300 blackout but you're like ah you know uh, uh, it's still you're worried about the lethality or whatever uh, grab yourself a 458 and you don't have to worry about that anymore um, so good stuff now since we did say it's rated for full auto it wouldn't be fun if we left without shooting at full auto we're gonna scoot closer for safety and do it all right, a little downrange damage of that tree. Check those holes out. That's pretty slick. Uh, All right, so for safety's sake, we moved closer to the berm, so, you know, we wouldn't full auto fire over it by any chance. Uh, so we turned our 30 round AR-15 223 magazine into an 11 round 458 SOCOM 5,500 grains of power magazine. Um, all right, let's, let's put it to it. 458 SOCOM Magnum.
like a boss. That wasn't too bad. I guess it's the subsonics don't really rock your world as much as the supers. But uh, man, now that'd be fun on a pig hunt, I tell you that. All right, good deal. So uh, one neat thing uh, about the mounting system on the Bowers uh, Verse is uh, it comes off, I'm not gonna touch it right now, it's too hot. But this little piece right here, that is their, their thread adapters. And they have like 27 different thread pitches and everything that can thread into these cans. So that's pretty neat and gives it a lot of versatility. Uh, Bowers really, they've been around for 20 something years and they have a super um, the service agreement. And uh, with their 22 cans and everything else, if you don't feel like cleaning it and just want to send it in every so often, give them 20 bucks and wait three to five days and they, they'll overhaul it for you. And so that's pretty slick. Um, I think this can, well, it's a, it, it retails a little over 800 bucks. And while it does look big, it's not quite a, a pound and a half. I think it was like 23 ounces, something like that. So anyway, some good stuff. You can check them out if you want some big bore full auto can cans uh yeah check out bowers group all right so it would be a shame to send that supersonic 500 grain stuff just back when we can put it through its paces and just do a little more testing on this bowers can so we've got a full auto m16 lower here and we're gonna give it a roll ready see if this rocks me back a bit more than last time here we go yeah that moved me Oh, but it's good stuff. <laughs> All right. All right, so we were about to put everything up, and I'm like, hey, uh, we got a little bit of ammo left. Let's uh, go ahead and see what we can do at 50 yards at a golf ball. Now, I didn't really zero this thing too well because I was like, let's just get it on steel. Uh, so we're going to see if we can chase it in there. But at 50 yards, that um, golf ball is just about the size of my aim point dot. So, yeah, we'll see. There it goes, nice, okay. We'll see uh, how much damage we did to it. Sweet. All right, so entry hole right there, exit hole right there, went right through. That's a, that's pretty good. Cool stuff. Yeah, thanks to Detroit Ammo for sending that out for, to me. Pig, pig, come here, come here. You wanna eat a golf ball? You wanna eat a golf ball? You want it? What do you think? You don't like daddy's targets? All right, tell her bye-bye. So thanks for watching, click the likes, hey, click the ads, and then uh, click subscribe. Thanks, guys.